Hey, what's going on, Rutgers fans? Chris Nowoski here from Rutgers 24-7, Shell Insiders, or the Chop Nation, whatever you want to call us. Now, I'm not sure if you saw my recent tweet the other night, follow me at Chris Wasky, but I wanted to get more digital, so to speak, and create more videos, whether that is, you know, filming more interviews and press conferences, or something like the Marco Battaglia Practice Complex Tour, or anything. I want to bring more than just writing to the site, and in general, make myself more versatile and learn how to create more videos. But in terms of making these fancy videos, I'm basically a second grader. I don't have any professional tools or equipment. It's basically, you know, just the Windows, Microsoft, a movie maker, the YouTube editor, editor, and my phone. As you guys know, I've done some video in the past, but now I wanted to do more, starting with this one. Last week, the third and final wave of freshmen for the 2017 class and transfers enrolled at Rutgers in time for the second summer session. And with training camp on the way at the end of the month, it got me thinking, who in my opinion are the top five incoming freshmen I'm excited to see for the season? Like I said, the players in this top five, in no order, are true freshmen straight out of high school. You know, I'm excited to see more of the Mitchell brothers and how Kyle Bolin will fit in the quarterback competition, but in this video I would just be talking about the members of the 2017 class. And before we start, I just want to say don't forget to check records.247sports.com every day and be sure to sign up for a free VIP account if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at the Chop Nation and me as well if you haven't. With that being said, here are a handful of Rutgers football freshmen I'm most interested in seeing during, tra during training camp and the 2017 season. Starting off the list is none other than 4 star, 5'11", 175 pound, Cedar Creek High School in Egg Harbor City, New Jersey, wide receiver, Bo Melton. Melton is an extremely explosive athlete and is both quick and fast. Melton has soft hands lined up all over the, all over the field in high school as a wide receiver in the slot and in the backfield. Think, for, think former Florida and NFL receiver Percy Harvin when you see Melton. Despite an injury injury rattled senior season, Melton led the, led the Pirates to a 10-2 record and appearance in the NJSIA South Jersey Group 2 final as a senior. He still managed to finish with 51 receptions for 766 yards and 9 touchdowns. He also added 451 rushing yards and 7 scores on the ground and was named first team all state by the Star Ledger. Here's a quote from his head coach Tim Watson from back in May of 2016. Quote, Bo's greatest attribute is his juice. He always has great energy in the locker room and on the field. His ability to have fun and lighten the mood while still being extremely competitive is truly a gift. On the field, he is a dynamic playmaker and has the mindset that refuses to that he refuses to accept defeat. His explosiveness and speed are evident, but I truly I truly believe it's his intangibles that make him special. He is a great young man with a great future ahead of him. Next up on the list is Consensus, former four-star recruit and number two player in the state of New Jersey, offensive tackle, 6'4", 270-pounder, Michael Clark out of St. John Vianney High School in Holmdale, New Jersey. Two days after Bo Melton committed in April of 2016, Clark committed to Rutgers and his pledge changed the narrative about staying home and playing for Rutgers and excited the entire fan base as well as the entire coaching staff. Clark was and still is leader of the class and was one of a handful of early enrollees who joined the Rutgers program this past January and participated in spring practice. He did still go to his high school prom though. Also a standout wrestler, Clark projected to a number of positions in college football due to his athleticism, but he could possibly be Rutgers left tackle of the future. As a senior, Clark helped St. John Vianney to a 10-1 record and, and an appearance in the short conference Class A Central title game. On defense, he racked up 44 tackles, 8 tackles for loss, and 2 sacks and caused a turnover. He was a first team All-State selection. Next up on the list is big 6'3", 225 pound St. Peter's Prep in Jersey City, New Jersey quarterback Jonathan Lewis. Coached by Rich Hansen and Ep Prep, he led the Marauders to an 8-4 record in appearance to the non-public Group 4 Championship game as a senior in 2016. Lewis accounted for 
1,557 passing yards and 10 scores while, added, while adding 992 rushing yards and 21 touchdowns on the ground en route to a first-team All-State selection. Head coach Chris Ash and the entire staff covered Lewis as he was their top target as they envisioned him running the power spread scheme. New offensive coordinator Jerry Kill will help Lewis get ready to go as the former three-star signal caller will be in the thick starting quarterback battle with grad transfer Kyle Bolin, redshirt junior returning starter Gio Rossino, fifth-year senior Zach Allen who's, who's a little banged up, and a couple walk-ons. For number four on the list, I had a hard time choosing between two playmaking linebackers, C.J. Onyechi from West. And after some thinking, I'm going with the 6'1", 215-pounder out of New Jersey in Onyechi. At West Orange, throughout his career, he played offensive tackle, tight end, rush end, defensive end, and outside linebacker, and helped the Mountaineers to a 6-4 record in appearance in North Jersey Section 1 Group 5 playoffs as a senior. Check out these numbers as a, in his last high school season. 156 tackles, including 113 solo, 31 tackles for loss, 15 sacks, 8 quarterback hurries, 3 forced fumbles, 2 fumble recoveries, 1 blocked punt, and 1 blocked kick. And for good measure, he also added a buck 99 rushing yards and 3 touchdowns on the ground and was named first team all group 5 and second team all state defense by the Star Ledger. Rutgers had inconsistent play from the young linebackers last year, and Onietsu will bring solid tackling, blitzing, and playmaking ability to the second level. He will have to improve his strength and pass coverage, but he could go into a defensive end as well. Last but not least in my list of incoming freshman Rutgers football players I'm most excited to see is nickel safety linebacker Saeem Simmons from Alabama and New Jersey. Simmons transferred from Hudson Catholic in Jersey City to Bama in the middle of his high school career, but is coming back to Jersey for college. Simmons is a freak athlete who can play both safety and linebacker Rutgers and will likely spend time as nickel, kind of like Ross Douglas is doing now. The 5'11", 180 pounder versatile is a hard hitter and has great short area bursts and is just super athletic. The honorable mention all of Birmingham selection by Alabama Live is underrated and I would like to see more of him this training camp and beyond. So there you have it. Those are the five true freshmen I'm interested in seeing more of this training camp and during the season. All of the above could have significant impacts in the rookie years. And with that being said, what do you think of my top five? Who are the players that intrigue you the most? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Drop a line in the Rutgers 24-7 message board in the comment section of this video or tweet me at Chris Wasky or our or our Rutgers 24-7 account at the Chop Nation. Like I mentioned earlier, be sure to check the website daily for updated news and recruiting and all things Rutgers football and basketball. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.